Okay, so why are you tired of the black community? Um, where do I start? My little sister got a BBL asking homeless people freaky questions. Little RT 20v1. This is actually getting out of hand. A few months ago, I dropped a video titled The Problem with Black YouTube. And in that video, I basically talked about how I feel like there's two types of black content creators. One kind cares about their content and what they actually put out on the internet. And the other kind basically just trend hops and spams the most horniest content possible. All the public interview and like 20v1 spamming YouTubers. And that video has gotten a lot of mixed feedback, you know? Some people said that I was spitting in that video. A lot of people even gave me a lot of props for speaking up about this issue. And then some people thought that what I was saying was kind of a, a, a little Uncle ruckus -y. Some people were even saying that I wasn't the best spokesperson for this because I speak proper and I sound white. Even though, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure last time I checked, I'm black. I don't know, y'all tell me. I guess I gotta sound black as well. I don't know how a black person is supposed to sound, but y'all tell me in the comment section below every culture has their underworld mm. right white culture asian culture chinese culture japanese culture italian culture every culture has like an underworld and, an and they all have criminals and bad they people. all got criminals and bad people but it stays in the underworld the problem with, i find with black people is we've pushed our underworld and our underbelly to the surface mm -hmm. and that's what we now think is the upper video, echelon so to return to that topic of black youtube once again because i've been seeing some things and i'm not gonna lie it's low-key getting insane starting with these 20 v1s now these 20 v1s they were pretty popular like six seven months ago and they're still pretty popular till today if you're unfamiliar with the 20 v1 i mean basically it's one person versus 20 other people and they just speed date each person each round that's pretty much it. Now, like I said, these 20v1s are still popular till this day, and nothing's really changed with these, except for instead of using adults, they are now using children, as you guys saw in the intro. Yes, there was a creator out here who created a 20v1 with Little RT, the 10-year-old rapper. If that is not insane, I don't know what is. I genuinely don't. Do you get me? Like, the women can do all kinds of debauchery behavior and then be like, oh yeah, it's just feminism. Because there's actually this 20v1 with this rapper that goes by the name of Finesse Two Times, and it starts off as your average 20v1 that you'd see on black YouTube. But then halfway through, Finesse Two Times' son came in with them on the second round to basically just stick by his father's side while he's talking to these women. And the way that these women and Finesse Two Times talk right in front of this child is actually weird. It, it's, it's genuinely disgusting. So after you nut, do you stay hard or you get soft? Mm. I ain't gonna lie, but I'm gonna go for about 40 minutes for that Johnny for round two. You Cal might not take 40 minutes with me. Cal. I'm just trying to see what's the freakiest shit a bitch ever did to you. Man, one time, right? On oh, God, it's a bitch from Atlanta, cause she married now. On oh, God, I had a bitch with eating that bitch, right? Yeah. Man, that bitch got off that Start sucking my toe, cuz. If you spit my mouth right now, you gonna have to leave this home and f me right, though. feel so bad for this kid because you can literally see it in his face he's not trying to hear any of that no child is trying to hear this freaky ass conversation especially coming from one of his own parents this man's talking about how he be making girls squirt in front of his son bro when i was young the only thing i knew that squirted was my squirt bro. gun in the closet why is this man talking about how he be making women squirt in front of his son that's insane most of us aren't like that but because it's the underworld and the underbelly has been pushed to the surface most of us, well, not saying most of us, a lot of us are aspiring to the underworld mm. or trying to look like we're a part of the underworld and I, I'm just not down for it. I think there's a... I think there is a split coming in the black community, personally. I think there's a split coming. I think the people that are on the nonsense are going to be on one side and the people that want to do better than the nonsense are going to be on the other side. Mm. And... I, I'm not trying to call any violence or anything out, but you see when the people on this side are talking about, are oh, they ops, they're ops, they're ops, their ops are going to be mm. the other people because the other people are going to be sick of your nonsense. Do you get me? Like the, the black people that want to see people doing good are sick of your nonsense. And so you're going to have brand new ops <laughs> and the brand new ops are going to be your own people mm. who don't want to necessarily beef with you, but they're sick of you bringing they don't associate with the, that the, at the, all, the, yeah. you're bringing the whole community down mm -hmm. and it's like every culture has an underbelly but black people's underbelly has been pushed to the surface 
and now it's like we need to adhere to that it's like no that's the underbelly bro that's the underworld that's not who we are most black people are not like this